Hello everybody! Welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 by Color Fari. So, last time we started in on the Mulan world, the land of the dragons, and now we're in this snowy mountain village. And apparently Mushu's like, yo, dog, I saw Sean Yu go into that cave. Let's go in there and take him on all by ourselves. It's like, uh, sure Mushu, that's a great idea. <laughs> See that cave back there? Looks pretty creepy, kind of like something might jump right out. Maybe I think you should go in first. <laughs> you can reach the summit by climbing up here. I don't see why anyone would want to go there, though, unless they had to. And that has been my most accurate yow voice. Anyhow, it's been a very long while since I recorded this last... I, I literally recorded my entire Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play in between the last episode and this one. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to record this more frequently so I keep don't keep forgetting where I am. Another thing that you should know is that this is actually my second attempt at recording this episode because last time I recorded apparently it wasn't showing all of the screen. I'm really glad I caught that now, but it's not that big of a deal to re-record, but I, I kind of forget what stuff I've already talked about, what stuff I haven't, so if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. I'd rather repeat myself than leave something important out. Anyhow, enough of all this. We've got our shortcut set. Let's go off to the cave and see what's up. Destroy the wagons, we want to get some more drive orbs. Got a dark shard in there. We want to keep our drive meter nice and fill. Nice and fill? My drive meter's name is Phil. Did you know that? Ooh, this is a nice looking cave. Dead end. There's nobody here! You're crazy! Check again! Ah, oh, well! Wait for me, Donald! A uh, yuck? Hey, wait up! Huh? <laughs> what, what is it? Sora! Bean! He looks nice, doesn't he? He's like, perfect. I trapped the two, the one only competent person in the cave. So here we have a scripted battle. This can be a tricky battle. This is one you may die on. Defeat all of the Heartless, because we've got the Assault Riders again. And we've also got a bunch of shadows. And this is where fire really shines. Ouch. Okay, first we're going to deal with the Assault Rider, though. Okay, apparently I was facing the wrong way. No, Sora. Sora? Sora's like, I want to lock onto that shadow. Nope, that bad Sora, bad. Oh yeah, this is before the Kingdom Hearts introduced the do you want to retry the battle? Nope. If you fail the battle and hit continue, you can hit continue or load game. And if you hit continue, it brings you back to the last time you entered a room, basically. Fortunately, load times are fast and we can skip the scenes. All right, let's try this again. Jump out of the way of the Assault Rider, I'm gonna lock on to him. Good. He's stunned, do air combos on him to finish him off, cool. So like I said, this is a battle where fire really helps. Because all of these shadows are just gonna crowd around us, and it's perfect to just incinerate them with the fire spell. It hits multiple times, and it has a very long lasting hitbox, which means, uh, because the shadows like to hide in the ground, even when with invincibility frames, the chances that they're going to survive the fire is very low. Like, the fire will hit them. This is the tough part of the fight, though, because now we have to deal with two Assault Riders at the same time. And you kind of have to wait for them both to be not attacking if you want to get a chance to get a hit in. And they're very powerful. Oof. Thank goodness that HP fell. Ouch. Alright, uh... Gonna toss a potion for safety. Don't be afraid to use guard. Guard doesn't always work. There we go. Now we get slide dash, and pain gets hyper healing. And more HP. Nice fighting, Pain. You were amazing. I don't think Pain, quote unquote, did anything in that battle. Donald and Goofy were just watching, like, ah, oh, no, what did we do? Yeah. We definitely didn't see an even creepy shine. You go off it. <laughs> you old 
okay? Yeah, thanks to Pink. Pink didn't do anything. Stop patronizing him. <laughs> Come on, time to report to the captain. But Sean Yu wasn't here. No one saw him give the creepy laugh. Please, that hunt is old news. We're gonna tell the captain how thousands of heartless storm came and Pink took out nearly every one of them. Sora did all the work. This is not, no, you, you don't lie. You just don't. <laughs> and for those of you who want to know why, well, practically, practical reason, if you lie, you generally have to make more lies to cover your first lie. And if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember what you uh, lied about. That's the, like, <laughs> the selfish practical reasons. Like, well, if you, if you lie, you have to go to all the trouble of remembering the lie. And, oh, wow. So, Sh Shan Yu, like, single-handedly burned and raised this entire village in about two minutes. Tops. How? How? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Sean Yu's like, hey, I have all these fire bombs that I'm gonna set off in the village and then run. <laughs> I just need to, Heartless, I just need you to distract Sora for two minutes. <laughs> because of two minutes? Because of two minutes? <laughs> Wait, we weren't here for this? <laughs> oh, and I mean, to be fair, there were literally three people there to defend this. Four, if you count uh, Chiampo, but I didn't see him. Captain. Uh oh, he's wounded, but there's no blood because this is a kid's game. Don't overdo it, Captain. It's just a scratch. Oh. Uh oh, Captain, better get him to the hospital. The enemy. Where did they go? They went toward the summit. They? There was one guy. <laughs> we'll stop them. It kinda is our fault. Yeah, we all are just like, let's go to the cave, even though we're the. Not even we, even though Sora's the only good fighter that the entire Chinese army has. They have like five other people. <laughs> like, literally five other people. Like, what the heck? <laughs> right. You mean my fault? <clears throat> Sean, you and the Heartless did this, not us. In two minutes. Captain, if you track down the villagers, We'll handle this. He's mortally wounded! Get him to the hospital! They're like, we don't care, Captain. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Get off your lazy butt and help. It's like, I, I got stabbed in the chest, dude. Don't care. Wow. Poor Captain. Meanwhile, they're over here just like, dum -de dum maybe if we look busy, nobody will ask us to do anything. Wow. Good, good for you, China. Not really. Your army sucks. <laughs> and then YouTube took down this video because I criticized China. That's right, we can't even get that. Alright, so Chiampo, what were you doing when one guy stormed the village? Sean, you attacked the village with some creatures I had never seen before. A falcon even captured some of us. One bird captured you? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Also, hey, apparently we missed this um, in the last episode. We got an awakening puzzle piece. Got tons of puzzle pieces in this. <laughs> Shan Yu burned down the whole village. Luckily, he didn't burn down our puzzle pieces. <laughs> I'll be okay. It's just a flesh wound. Don't let the enemy get away. They've headed for the summit. Be careful, they're strong. Wow, either that was like the fastest recovery ever, or <laughs> or he's putting on a brave face, or just the game didn't ha know what to do with Sean, Sean Yu. Shane being hurt. Look at what they did to this village. How could anyone be so brutal? We can't let them get away with this. We'll show them what we're made of. What were you doing? <laughs> I saw Sean Yu with my own eyes. A falcon was on his shoulder and he was laughing. A falcon or Sean Yu? He had a beast like glow in his eyes that made my hair stand on end. Sean Yu's apparently like a superhuman. Okay. Oh, actually, let's battle for him. So, one of the nice things is that if you go into Valor form. Oh, yeah, I can show that off because. Well, hang on. I'll destroy the enemies first. I like how we got the Valor form level up. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but if you're in a drive form of any kind, such as Valor form, you transform and then you go back onto a screen where you have Donald and Goofy walking around. Or if you enter a cutscene where Donald and Goofy are taken away from you, you will automatically revert back to normal Sora. However, the game developers are like, hey, we don't want you to like enter a drive form and then immediately have it taken away from you. So no matter how much of the drive form you've actually used or how much of the meter you have left, when it gets stripped from you, you automatically get back to full drive, or at least back to the amount of drive you had before you went into the drive form. So we're going to lose our party members in this fight up here. So we're going to go back to normal Sora, and we'll have free drive again. Oh no, a bird. Oh no, one guy. <laughs> we can take him. <laughs> okay, and then Sean, you... Oh. Okay, so in the actual movie Mulan, this is a part where Shan Yu has like a huge horde of Huns at his side and they're like all around horses riding down and it's actually very intimidating because it's a huge army. Here it's like, I've got a fleet of rapid thrusters who are like the weakest heartless in the world and they don't look intimidating. It just looks ridiculous. Yeah, these enemies are rapid thrusters. Attack, rapid thrusters! You guys suck. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why our party members get taken from us in this fight. I guess they're like, we'll go over here and just let Sora fight. Yeah, but we're on our own now. Oh, I forgot to record Sliding Dash. That's fine. Defeat all the Heartless. You can't. There's unlimited Heartless. There are these Rapid Thrusters, and then there are these Bolt Powers. What you can do is you can attack the Rapid Thrusters to bait out a reaction command called, um... I can't remember what it's actually called. Speed Trap. Arrow Blade. Well, all we have to do is survive the time limit, and but we get experience points for every heartless we defeat, so why don't we defeat as many as we can? Also, like, you can see how many heartless there are, how many rapid thrusters there are. Most of them are not actually loaded as enemies because the game would crash. So most of them are just, like, animated images going around, but then, like, actual rapid thruster enemies with, like, AI that you can actually hurt will spawn in as they get, as you get closer to them. Keep in mind, this was a PS2 game originally. So a lot of, and they, they were able to have a lot of movie sprites on the screen at once, even if they weren't fully, like, even if they weren't full enemies with, like, AI that was working all at once, it's still very impressive what they were able to do. And we got a lot of experience for that. <laughs> Sean was like, I still have my bird. And more rapid thrusters. <laughs> <laughs> Shot music. Like, I'm gonna run really far. <laughs> Sword's going. No. Stand back. We'll handle this. We're gonna do one thing. <laughs> they have one firework between the three of them. Shot. Shot you literally. <laughs> Eight rapid thrusters. That's it. We killed all the others. We can totally take him. Huh. Sorry. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, it's literally. Come on. I killed eighty something rapid thrusters in like forty seconds. Wait, 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 hey, wait a second. Ah. Oh, you're going the wrong way. This part's way more epic in the actual movie Mulan. And it makes just more sense because they don't have rapid thrusters. <laughs> and it, yeah, because like, she she launches the firework to make the avalanche fall onto the Han army in the movie, which is like brilliant and really cool because there's like thousands of Huns and it like wipes them almost all out. In this, it's just Shan Yu and eight rapid thrusters. She's like, I must do this. <laughs> the captain's like, Look out! We caused an avalanche, and the captain's still mortally wounded from a chest wound. And now, Shanyu has to play 1080 snowboarding. Oh, he failed. <laughs> Shane, I hope you made a full recovery sword. I can't believe what I'm seeing. What? We did it! We wiped out all eight rapid thrusters. It was nothing. I should never have doubted you. From now on, you have my trust. 
And Thank that you, trust Captain. will be broken in like five seconds. <laughs> First she uses me as a lighter, then she turns me into a cannonball. The head ancestors gonna hear about this. You know, that's it. I give up. I can't take this no more. Come on, Mulan. Let's quit this charade and go home, girl. Mushu. What? <gasps> Mulan? A woman? It can't be. I love how he's more surprised that Peen is a woman than he is about a tiny little living, breathing dragon talking to him. As well as all of this weird stuff with the Heartless going on, and, you know, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. You can't be. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> Even though I said five seconds ago that you had my trust. You're okay! You all knew, didn't you? You knew Ping was really a woman in disguise. Bull. Only Goofy figured it out. Sora and Donald had to have it spelled out I for him. I can't believe you lied to me. <laughs> I can't believe you literally abandoned me and didn't get me medical attention when I needed it. That's what he really should be mad about. Honestly, if I were in charge of the Kingdom Hearts 2 Mulan world adaption, I would have played it that way. <laughs> the punishment for high treason and dishonoring the army is death. <laughs> to be fair, Leaving your captain for dead and not attending his wounds could be considered treason. Get out of my sight. Now. You're all dismissed. But, Captain... Sora. Our debt is repaid. <laughs> Shane, what are you gonna do? You literally now have three people in the army. Five if you count those two random NPCs who sing, A girl we're fighting for. <laughs> China has the tiniest army in history. The Emperor is waiting. Yeah. Move out! <laughs> Literally five. <laughs> oh, no. That was just five of us. And two of us look exactly the same. I guess six if you count Shane. But are we really counting Shane? Yeah, we should. He's like the only person who does anything. Mulan, I blew it. Yeah, you did. Eddie Murphy, how could you do this? Thank you, everyone. Sorry I got you in trouble. It's no big deal. We were so we didn't big. want to be in the Chinese army I mean, anyway. Uh, Mulan, what are you gonna do now? Go back home. You know your daddy's gonna be steamed as a chicken dumpling. Relax. We'll take our share of the blame. Thanks. You're all wonderful friends. Did anybody get Shane the medical attention he needed? Because he kind of needs it. <laughs> Pain has gone back to be Mulan. Mulan learned a new ability. Uh, more like Mulan learned like 12 new abilities. Also, for some reason... <laughs> I don't know if this is like a feminist message or whatnot, but Mulan is way better than Pain is. Pain like, can barely do anything. Mulan's actually a very competent party member. So I'm actually going to keep her in the party. And I'm going to keep Goofy in the party. Donald, you, you suck. Other than the fact that Donald can heal me, that, that's basically his only use. Alright. One thing that I need to equip. A sliding dash, not equipping auto valor. Alright. Mulan! Okay, so she has all these new abilities. Mushu fire. Mushu attacks nearby enemies by breathing fire. Costs 10 MP. She can use that freely. Flame Ton rushes in and attacks enemies in midair when engulfed in Mushu's fire. Costs 10 MP. She can use that freely. Dragon Blaze. A limit command that unleashes Mulan and Sora's joint attack. Red Rocket. Consumes all of Sora's MP. This is our first instance of a limit attack. We saw limits in Kingdom Hearts 1 with Sliding Dash, or not Sliding Dash, with like Sonic Blade, Strike Raid, uh, Ars Arcanum, all those. Those were limit attacks. Limit attacks come back in Kingdom Hearts 2, and I'd say they're way better. So limits take all of Sora's MP, as you can see. So even if you have just a sliver of MP left, it just takes all of that. But it also takes it all if you have full MP. However, these are generally very powerful attacks. I can hit for a lot of enemies at a great range. And the best part is, while you're doing these attacks, Sora and your whoever party member you're doing the attack with are completely invincible. So this is not only useful for attacking, but it can also be useful for defense if there's an enemy doing a really powerful attack that you have to avoid. So we're going to show that off later on. Draw, she can draw nearby orbs. Fire boost, uh, I'm going to unequip draw and equip fire boost because she's got uh, fire power. Uh, yep, increases the damage done by fire based attacks by 20%. Uh, item boost I'm going to unequip because I don't want her with items anyways. I'm also going to unequip auto limit. So this is kind of like auto valor where it automatically sets the reaction command to their limit move. 
So if I have that equipped, it'll like basically constantly be like, do you want to do Dragon Blades? And you just press triangle to do it, which if you really, really need a shortcut for the limits, that can be fine. I might end up using this later on. But for the most part, it's just easier to navigate the menu to limit and select it. It takes only a few inputs. And it, this way, auto limit won't override actual reaction commands I want to do. I will equip Hyper Healing. Quickly revive a fallen party member and greatly restores their HP. Yeah, that's really good. And stock, I have the Frost Shard over there. Yeah, okay, that's fine. The limit command has been added. Press right on the D-pad to show the limit, then select it. Limits are abilities that consume Sora's MP and are executed with party members, so Milan has to be alive in order for me to use that. Red Rocket. And yeah, you can see I have free driving in. I don't- and there's no treasure chests in this area. It's just a dead end. Let's go back to the ridge. Man, I forgot how many cutscenes are in this. Oh no, not the bird. The bird is actually the real boss. <laughs> so shot you still alive. <laughs> no, my eight rapid frosters. <laughs> That's literally all that Mulan did. She launched the rocket all just to kill the eight rapid frosters. Oh, never, oh, never mind. He, he can respawn them with his hatred. Oh, he has more than eight now. So literally Mulan did nothing. Way to go, Mulan. Literally, he... <laughs> Shan Yu is alive. And he can summon rapid frusters just by roaring with anger. He's heading for the Imperial City. And he's he's one guy. Shang. We have to warn Shane and his... <laughs> well, actually... Shan Yu and his eight rapid frusters versus Shane and his five army members. You know what? Maybe it is a fair fight. <laughs> oh no. We are the only... China would be destroyed like in an instant if it wasn't for us. Whatever shall we do? Also one thing we can do is if we want, we can go to the world map and save work back to the bamboo grove if we wanted a shortcut back to the checkpoint. I don't, however. I want to go down... I want to go back down the mountain and fight some more enemies. Mountain Trail. Assault Rider. Take that. I do not want to use Valor Form, I'm saving that for the boss fight. And I don't have confidence that I'll be able to refill the meter again, but come on, Sora. Nightwalker is there, please. Take that. I don't understand why sometimes you just can't guard the, the Assault Rider's attacks. New plan, I'm gonna let you attack before I... There. Ooh, and we get a Dark Stone. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh, it's Serenity Stone. Definitely keep your eye out for those. Those will be very useful later on. Now we get a new ability, Magic Lock-On. Magic Lock-On is an example of one of those abilities, kind of like Auto Valor and Zero Experience, that can be kind of bad. Automatically locks onto a target when you cast Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, or Magnet. Spoiler alert for some future spells. Um, it can be useful, like, especially if you have Thunder or Blizzard, because it can kind of auto lock on. Once you learn Magnet, however, it's very bad. I don't particularly like it anyways. I like being able to aim exactly where I want my magic to go. But hey, feel free to try it out if you want. All right. <laughs> that attack just lasts so long. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Mulan. 
Moana, yeah, see, Moana, holy cow. Yes, you go, girl. Moana should really help you with like that. Wow, dang, Moana. yeah, you see, Moana, once she gets some abilities, is really, really good. She just took out, like, half the enemies. Hi, assault. Do, do assault riders always start with that windmill attack? I thought that would be enough to kill. Guess not. Anyway, back to the checkpoint. Now we can. <laughs> Sean Yu's like, I have the key to this gate. And that Sean Yu, Shane was like, I have the key to this gate. I didn't unlock it, but I left the doors open. Sean Yu would never be able to go over the. Oh. Where did you get all, where did you get all these new members of the army? It's like on the way back to the war's been won. Wanna join the army? They're oh the war's already been won. Sure, we'll pretend we helped. <laughs> also, they're all identical. Shang! Shan Yu is alive. He's headed this way. And why should I believe you this time? Why would we lie about this? We have nothing to gain from lying about this. But she's telling you the truth. She? His bird is still alive. That proves it. <laughs> He's like, well, that does seem suspicious. <laughs> also, I do still need to get medical attention, so... <laughs> Shun is just waiting on the roof. He has a much better... Actually, I think... Wasn't he doing that in the movie as well? And, like, his henchmen were hiding in, like, the parade float? Maybe. Guard the palace! Do not let the enemy get anywhere near the Emperor! You know, the army and Shan Yu were both kind of walking to the palace. Like, if why shouldn't they have walked a little faster? That's an order! Oh, never mind. He didn't find new army members. They just blended in. Captain, we'll secure the courtyard and you can save the Emperor. I still need to go to the hospital, though. <laughs> All right, so for this battle, we're gonna show off Mulan's limit because her, her limit attack can just instantly end this fight. All right, so we can use Triangle or X to do different moves, then eventually we get to the Red Meteor, which should obliterate all the enemies on the screen. Booyah! That move can be very useful. It's not that great against the bosses, but against like mobs and enemies, it can be very useful. The Emperor's in danger. Oh, wait, she's a girl now. The Emperor's in danger. No time to no time to lose. <laughs> oh, and it just instantly restored my MP. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> All right, off to the boss. Shan Yu is the first fight. The first fight. We've fought a lot of bosses. He's the boss of the Land of the Dragons, and he's a pretty cool fight. You can also be a bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Now you'll bow to me. I only have like five, <laughs> five people living in China right now. <laughs> Dang, that was pretty cool, Shane. <laughs> Shane's like, <laughs> I'm leaving you to fight Shani. <laughs> Why couldn't we have gotten Shane as a partner? We probably would have if this was Kingdom Hearts 3. It ends now. Right now. So now we fight Shan Yu. Shan Yu can be quite powerful. And what happens is He also is using the power of the bees to uh help him defeat Shan Yu while guarding the gates. Yes. That is one part of this fight. He will attack the gates and the gates have HP. So don't let him break down the gates. Also, what uh, one of the gimmicks of this fight is if Sora and Shan Yu attack at the same time, then they'll, you'll basically clash with him, and then it'll be a reaction command where you have to tap the triangle button to overpower him. Oh. As you're about to see at the very beginning of the fight, because we're going to da slide and dash into him, and he's going to attack us. Take that. He also summons Nightwalkers, and they'll attack the game. 
As they attack the gate, they will drop the morale orbs, which can refill the gate's HP, so that's important to know. The Valor form helps out for this fight a lot. Keep an eye on your HP as well. Also, when he does this, he will no longer be staggered by your attacks, so watch out for that. So this means he, he'll be able to attack you while you're attacking him, which doesn't exactly work very well. Alright, Milan, let's try your limit. I'll... See, so, yeah, like, it deals a little bit of damage against Shanyu, but it's mainly best for just tearing out all the place. Goodbye, Shanyu. Pretty fast fight on critical mode. But you saw how much damage he was dealing when he was, like, possessed by the darkness doing his sweeping attacks. But a really fun first fight. That's how Mulan, who actually did help. Call burning some honey bud. Oh yeah! Mulan's the best! Mulan's the best! Now wait a minute, I'm the best! Mushu's the best! Mushu's I mean, Mushu best. also helps for that fight, so good on you, Mushu. Oh, whoa, ne never mind, he does have a lot of people living in China. They're just cardboard cutouts. <laughs> I've heard a great deal about you, Fagolan. You stole your father's armor, ran away from home impersonated an Imperial soldier. Left my captain to die after he suffered a chest wound. <laughs> you deceived your commanding officer, shamed the entire Chinese army. There were only five people in the army, so is that really that big of a deal? And dishonored your family name. We get the picture. You're a young woman. And in the end... Oh. You have saved us all. <laughs> Your avalanche killed those eight rapid thrusters. <laughs> that was imperative. <laughs> and all the cardboard cutouts bow to her, too. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your Excellency. Captain Lee. <laughs> have you gone to the hospital yet? <laughs> Don't need to. <laughs> I'm just that tough. Take this, so the world will know what it is you have done for China. Thank you. Mulan. Yes? Sora. Sir. Donald. <coughs> Goofy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you? Is that all there is to say, Captain? Oh, and uh, I need a doctor. <laughs> if you wish to win the heart of Fa Mulan, China's bravest woman. You'll have to be a bit more eloquent than that. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor's the best wingman ever. Can I get an autograph? Sora, you were Thanks the one Thanks for to everything, Sora. Yeah. I should get yeah, that, they gotta let me go back to being a guardian. They gotta! But Mushu, I thought you already were a family guardian. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, don't even worry about that. That's just real technical. Just for us guardians. You tricked us! No, 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 no. See, I, I just, uh, you know, I just didn't want to bog y'all down with all the guard you need. See, it's very complex, a lot of fine print, you wouldn't understand. Huh? Still wondering if that's actually Eddie Murphy, if they just got a replacement actor who sounds like him. It's keyhole time. Shanyu's sword reveals a keyhole. I didn't know it had that kind of power. Guess it's about time to be moving on. You shall be missed. Is it okay if we come back to visit? Of course. We will look forward to your return. You two play nice. Whoa, watch it, soldier. <laughs> 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 
Goodbye, Sora, <laughs> Donald, yeah. Goofy. Yeah. And that's how Shane died, because nobody attended his injury, not even him. And now we get our, well, not technically not our first new Keyblade, but kind of our first new Keyblade. The Hidden Dragon Keyblade restores MP relative to the amount of damage taken. This is the worst Keyblade in the whole game. I'll just throw it out there. I believe this is the worst Keyblade in the whole game. It has worse stats than the Kingdom Key. It has one extra magic, but one less strength. And at the beginning of the game, magic's really not that great. By the time magic is great, you will have Keyblades that are more magically powerful than this one. And its ability to restore your MP whenever you take damage. It sounds nice, but it's not that great. Especially since you can learn copies of this ability pretty easily elsewhere. So yeah, I can't really think of a single time I ever use this. The only time I use this is just to swap use, use from using the Kingdom Key as my main weapon to the Star Seeker as my main weapon. Because right now, I couldn't before this, I couldn't have done that because it was tied to Valor Form and my main weapon, and you can't just say swap. But now that I have a third Keyblade, I can swap the Valor Form Keyblade with, to this, swap my main Keyblade to the Star Seeker, and then swap the Valor Form Keyblade to the Kingdom Key. And I might not even do that, because Kingdom Key is honestly pretty decent in this game. And that's the Mulan world, Land of the Dragons. And look over there, it's Olympus. So we could go to Olympus next, which is the Hercules world, or we could go to the Beauty and the Beast world. I think we'll be going to the Beauty and the Beast world next time on Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Final Mix. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Look forward to that, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.